well, here we go again. I wasn't, uh, wasn't going to have a hunt this evening, but uh, I sat at home and I just thought I might as well. You boys and girls are good enough to watch, so uh, so I had to give back and uh, get some hint hunts in while I can. So uh, here we are anyway, my local beach. Not sure how far that tide out is. Let's uh, let's take you straight over and. Uh, I've only got my trainers on today. I've no wellies because I look a bit odd in shorts and wellies. Well, as you can probably see, the tide's not, uh, it's not all the way out uh, at the moment. It's, it's about another hour to go. It's just turned 8pm. 8, 8 so uh, apologies for the wind noise if you can hear that as well. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, let's give it a crack. I'm going to go up this way today. Uh, never got much up this way, but uh, yeah, we'll have a wander. And we'll see what turns up so uh, so yeah uh, hang tight let's see what we can find all right back shortly well here's find number one let's see if we can figure out what this is I think it's a spoon or a fork handle what's left of it yeah a spoon handle or a fork handle there's a mark on the back probably stainless steel or something silly like that they usually are. Yeah, I would hazard to guess it's stainless steel. I'll take it on with me anyway, so. All right, on we go. Well, there's the, looks like the first coin find. That's just that. Ah, that is definitely a coin. It has definitely a coin. And what is it? Have we got any water anywhere? We can rinse it in. Oh, the water's a mile away, look. I'm actually walking further up the beach. Oh, look, there's a little puddle there. Ugh. I'm walking up the beach because, as I expected, it's pretty much dead down that bit. Oh, oh, and it's yours and my favourite. It's a two pence. Yo. Two new pence. All right, and we go. Well, a coin's a coin, so we'll not argue. Let's hope we can get something a little bit older. There you go, the, uh, the broken handle of a spoon, stainless steel. <laughs> well, those days. <laughs> well, there's the next one from that scrape there. And we got it there. And look at that, that's another coin, is that? Eee. What, 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 what? What, 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 what? What are you? What are you now? Where are you? Queen Elizabeth, I think. Gonna be a Queen Elizabeth. Uh, could be a King George. Can't quite make it out. It's more than likely a half penny. Yeah, ship half penny is that. You probably can't see that very well. All right, we'll shove it in the bag and we'll take it home. I'm certain. I'm certain that's a ship half penny. I don't know if you can see that on there. Well, there's the next scrape, and there's the. The next coin, but a boom, <laughs> and it's going to be a big penny. And again, there's no water. Look, there's a little bit of water there for us. Eee. Yeah, I, to be honest with you, I don't mind finding these at all. I know some people uh, sick to death of them. I get sick to death of the two peas, but uh, there's somebody driving like a lunatic. There you go. 
30 mile an hour zone, he must be doing 50 or 60 there. Right, it's. Uh, let's shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Oh, oh, shake it off, shake it off. That's my. Uh, that's my impression of the. Uh, the Yorkshire version of. Uh, what they call her? Taylor Swift, that's it. Uh, it's the Yorkshire version of Taylor Swift. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, that's the hole there for the next one. And I just like dug all these, dug quite a deep hole anyway, just for this tiny little signal look. And it's probably just a penny. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a penny, I think. Uh, uh, okay. Maybe it's not a penny. Because that's got like a something on there. Ooh. Uh, uh. Right. I'm not going to rub it anymore. We're going to take it home. We're going to dry it out and have a look. See that? Well, here's the next one from this hole here. And it's this thing here, look. Uh, it's an interesting shape, if ever I saw one. Ooh. Ooh. Gooey, dirty water. Right. Interesting. Right, hang on, let me get my earphones off and see if I can clean this up. I don't know what that is. Or was. Hang on. <clears throat> it's a bit of cleaner water here. Ugh. Oh, I can put that in there and rinse my hand off. I'm going to rinse that off as well. Yeah. Now then. Looks like it's made of brass or copper, one of the two, or maybe an alloy of the two. Right, I have absolutely no idea. What do you think, boys and girls? What do you think that could possibly be? Can you see that? Hmm. Bizarre. It's been something in its life, isn't it? Okay, well, I will leave it up to you to decide. Leave a comment down below. So, where is it? I'm flipping lost it now. <laughs> I've got something down here somewhere and I've gone and lost it. Where the heck is it? Hang on a second, let me get this thing out of my pocket here. Right, here we go. Oh, it's there, look. Okay. Just there. Boom. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh. That, I'm certain, is going to be a watch. Oh, now, <clears throat> what type of watch it is, is anybody's guess. Oh, because it's very shiny. Ugh, I think it's plate. Oh man, I was getting all excited then. <sighs> it is, it's a little lady's watch, broken strap. Oh man, I thought that might have been gold then. Ah. Oh. Well, it says, I think it probably has something written on the back. We'll see if we can get something off that at home. Yeah, it's a modern watch, is that? A modern uh, quartz movement, I think. Oh, that's a shame. All right, well, we'll take it with us. Well, there's the next find. It's another little shiny, shiny thing, square. See it poking out there? Right, okay. Let's have a look. Ooh. Ooh, now then. What are you? Oh, oh nearly lost it. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, well, again, if you have any idea what that is, or was, then, uh, yeah. Let me know, because I ain't got the faintest clue. 
I'd like to think that were gold, but uh, I don't think it is. Right, well, we'll shove it in the bag. Well, there you go. That's a, a quick little two hours for you. Uh, not a lot to show, but a couple of interesting little things, I think. Um, we'll have a look once I get home. And uh, sorry, I've just got uh, banana armor coming in my ears at the moment. So, uh, so yeah, we'll have a look at these things when we get home, and uh, we'll see if we can figure out what we've got. All right, back shortly. Well, there you go. As, I, uh, as you saw there, we didn't get a lot. Uh, let me put the uh, camera on close up and we will have a, a nosy at uh, what we did get. Well, there you go. There's one broken spoon. Probably a stainless steel teaspoon, that. Baby crying out there. And uh, there's the other handle. Um, I don't think it's uh, certainly not silver, but, uh, but yeah, there is some writing on there. I, I'm not going to bother scraping that off because uh, I think it's pointless to be honest with you. Um, a bit of scrap. I didn't show show myself digging this thing, but uh, but yeah, it's just a bit of scrap. Is that uh, about as much use? in the bin to be perfectly honest with you um, this little thing I have no idea what this is or what this would have been there's little stones in it there's just stones stuck in the side so uh, so yeah if you've any idea what that was then uh, yeah leave a comment down below I wonder if it's been some sort of uh, cufflink maybe <clears throat> cufflink possibly and we got do, 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 the little quartz watch. Let me see if we can get a bit closer. There we go. I can't read that. I need my glasses. Maybe some of you can read that. It's a little uh, little lady's wristwatch. It does say something on the back. Let's turn that the right way up. Yeah, it's a Seiko. Oh, that's a shame. Water resistant as well. Well, I think uh, I think the water resistance has uh, has somewhat failed. So a Seiko ladies wristwatch. A oh, shame that would have been a nice thing. Good quality watches are Seikos. This thing, I've really no idea. It looks a bit fishy to me. So yeah, a bit fishy looking. Don't know what it would have been. Again, if you've an idea, leave us a comment down below. Okay. And then what have we got? Well, we got a 2p. Oh, the excitement of two pence. And we got a big penny. Uh, well worn. Well, yeah, you can just about make out Britannia on there, head up there, arm up, arm down, sitting. Date would have been at the bottom here. Let's see if we can get closer. Yeah, there you go. Closer makes it look worse, doesn't it? Typical. So, uh, I don't know if that's... Uh, I don't know what whether that's king or queen on there, but uh, I suspect Queen Elizabeth. And we've got a ship half penny. Like I say, I don't mind digging these because it shows that the stuff's still out there. Um, again, well worn. Queen Elizabeth, I think that one is. And then last but not least is this, uh, is this little coin here. And I really don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll take some photos and tack them on at the end. I just can't figure out what that is. If anybody's got a rough idea what that might be. I'd certainly be very interested. So 
I just can't figure it out. There's something there on that side. I know there is. So if you know what that is, then uh, yeah, you can do the same. Leave a comment. And yeah, like I say, uh, that's really the, uh, the honest truth about uh, metal detecting. Is that most of the time it's just, uh, it's just the odd bits of junk and the odd uh, pre-decimal penny or two pence coin, that sort of thing. So uh, but yeah, it's good fun and it gets us out. So uh, I will uh, see you on the next one, boys and girls. And don't forget, if you, uh, if you like the video, if you like what I do, give us a thumbs up, um, share the video. And, uh, and yeah, I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye for now.